Oh, great. Um, these contracts are in triplicate, ready for Mr. Galvin to sign. Thank you. Julian Giacomelli's office. Uh-huh. Spencer, rush delivery to New York. Thanks. We've already canceled. If Deepak Chopra is not going to breathe there, then she's not going to be there. OK, great. Oh, more? Because there's no room on my desk. Remember that little fishing boat from the perfect storm? How it climbed up that endless wave, hoping to reach the top and cruise down the other side to safety? That's me. OK, good. Um, these are good to go. I just corrected some typos on paragraph four. OK, thank you. But just like that fishing boat, I can't seem to quite crest the wave. Julianne Giacomelli's office. Hey, I'm back. Would you believe me if I told you the national dish of Ecuador is guinea pig? Uh, hey, Ryan, I'm sorry. This really isn't a good time. I'm just, I'm buried in work. All right, this won't take long. I just want to see if we can shift our plans from tonight to tomorrow night. Uh, why does something come up? Josh called, and he can only get together tonight. Oh. But tomorrow night, I promise, I'm all yours. Dinner, movie, roast guinea pig, you name it. OK, sure, I guess. Um, Look, is this going to be a problem? No. Ryan, my sister hates me. It's not a stretch to imagine that her husband isn't exactly thrilled that we're together. Well, that's his deal. And for what it's worth, this whole thing between you and your sister, I'm sure it'll blow over. I hope so. Bye. I hate to keep you from planning your social life. I just thought maybe you could, you know, do your job. I am. Uh, what do you need? Uh, the launch strategy file from Mark Stoll's book five minutes ago. OK, well, when did you want to hear it? Now, and you're helping me with the pitch, so come on, it's game time. Well, we're launching a book that Stoll hasn't even written yet. I mean, we don't even have the chapters. Yes, Erica, we do have them. They're in editing. Show me your poker face. Oh, God, help us. We think that this book is perfect for the business traveler market. We think? We know. Uh, the, the research backs it up. Young professionals, they love self-help books with a dash of schadenfreude thrown in. Mm -hmm. We'll focus on the tell-all angle. Which we leverage for the talk shows. All for a major Christmas launch. And with a cover this good, we think it'll grab everyone's eye. Hmm. Bring it here. Oh. I'm liking this. It's grabby. I'll take the chapters home tonight and send you my notes in the morning. Oh, actually, Frank, um, we do have three chapters, but they're still very... Raw. Raw. I don't need them prettied up. I want to see what I'm paying for. Who's got them right now? Oh, um... Who? Um, Dory. Dory is editing the history of coffee. I just spoke to her. Stop bullshitting me and get me something to read. Today! So if you're in the water and the waves keep smacking you down, what do you do? Sometimes you manage to soldier on, clutch the steering wheel, and face the storm. Dory? Everyone knows she's editing the freaking coffee book. Julia, I'm sorry. I just, I, 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 I oh, thought... Well, you won't be doing that again, will you? If we don't have pages by the end of the day, Galvin will have me thrown out that window, and I will throw you first to break my fall. Believe me. I do. Then get me. Ages. While other times, you look around and see the situation clearly, that ultimately, you're going to drown. lunch in a restaurant? No time. Besides, standing up eating, I think it's better for digestion anyway. You know what I want to talk to you about. Dad, please, I can't today. You know how hard it is to have my two daughters not speaking to each other? OK, well, try being one of the daughters. I mean, she won't return my calls. I've tried leaving messages. I've tried email. I mean, I've tried, but at a certain point, Dad, you just you got to say enough is enough. So you're giving up on your sister. Is that it? I really miss her. I know. What can I do? Nothing. That's why I didn't want to talk about this. This is what I'm afraid of. What? 
Come on, Dad, it's always the same. It's always you and me over here, and Sam and Mom over there, and Sam, she'll just get mad if she thinks that you're on my side. I'm not taking sides. I want my girls to make up, that's all. Let me speak to her. Sometimes a fight gets to a point where you need a mediator, someone with perspective. I gotta get back to work. I love you, Dad. I love you. Thanks for the sandwich. You must have a horseshoe tucked somewhere I don't want to know about. But then again, maybe I do. Brent, what is it? Marcus Stahl is in his house. Not a moment too soon. Oh, thank God. Does Julianne know? Mm-hmm. Good, thank you. Uh, uh, Mr. Stahl. Mm. Oh, I've got your messages. Look, I'm sorry I didn't get back to you soon, but things have been just kind of crazy. You know, maybe working and thinking and really trying to construct something. You know, I mean, something good. Of course, of course. It's just, it's good to see you. You know, we really need those pages. Mm-hmm. Yep. No, yes, the, um, the pages. Yeah. I, I mean, to be honest, we were getting a little bit worried, but now that you're here, it's, it's all good. You, you did bring them with you. Nothing? Nothing at all? Not even one page? I've been trying. Okay, I've been sitting at my desk, but I'm sorry. Oh, oh, you're sorry. Well, that definitely takes the sting out of the slap you just laid across my face. Julian, listen to me. It's not gonna happen. You just have to accept it. I'm walking away. You promised us a book we could have on the shelves for Christmas, and we've put a lot of time, resources, and a lot of money into this. So no, I do not accept it, and you can't just walk away. Yes, I can. You cash the advance, pay it back. And you'll be talking to our lawyers, all 10 of them. Fine. You go ahead and do whatever you want, but it's not going to get the goddamn book out of me. Because I give up. I can't. I can't go back there. And I won't. Well, you can't really type in a straitjacket. Can't do coke in a straitjacket either. Mr. Stahl, please, I, I, I know that we just freaked you out back there. What is this, good cop, bad cop? No, not at all. I just I just came to tell you that I am. Um, I think that I understand. Oh, you understand? Yes, when you said that you can't go back there, you, I mean, you meant to that, that time in your life, right? What are you, a shrink slumming as someone's assistant? You're absolutely right. I don't know what it's like to struggle with an addiction, but I do know how painful it can be to face the past. And sometimes the best way to deal with something horrible that's happened to us is, is to revisit it, to take a really good, long, hard look at it. I mean, this, uh, this is just my opinion. And it's not just for the good of the book. It's good for you. When does Galvin need the pages? Um, tonight. <laughs> I can't promise you anything. Of course. Dad, I'm sorry, but you can't just come to my work and upset me like this. What happened between Erica and I has nothing to do with you. You're both my daughters. It has everything to do with me. Your sister loves you. I know you know that. And I know you also know she never do purposely anything to hurt you. Big surprise. You're siding with her. Even now. I am not siding with her. Dad, she told me not to marry my husband. She told me that he doesn't love me five minutes before I was about to walk down the aisle. I know. But you're refusing to speak to her is not the answer. What you're doing is hurting you. I can see it in your face. You can't just give up in your relationship. You have to, at the very least, try to understand why she said it. OK, you did not just suggest that. Sam. No. I don't need to understand why. I don't need to talk about it. And if you keep bringing it up, we won't have anything left to talk about at all. For the first time in my professional career, I have no idea what to do. I do. We rain hellfire on him. We set Galvin's team of soulless, baby-eating lawyers on his neurotic ass. No. No lawyer, not even ours, can legally compel someone to write a book that they don't want to write. Cook. Stahl said that he would get me the pages. Oh, my God, you are so naive. No, we gotta move on to a backup plan. 
What about that, that the lady, the bag lady who saved all the cats? Dogs. Whatever. Or the Christmas book. Ah, I mean, nothing says Christmas like little puppies being saved from an uncertain fate. Warms the cockles. But it does. Make it happen. Julia. Chugga, 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 chugga. That's the sound of the puppy train. Strange is leaving the station. You might want to climb on. Stahl's book, it's important. It's hopeful and original. Hey, look, I know you're all invested, and I know this is your baby, but it's not mine, and it never was. You could have let it go. Mr. Galvin asked for the pages. Let me break it down for you. You can either fix me a latte and drop this, or you can keep fighting this losing battle and go home for good. Erica. Oh. A word. The word is Harry Carey. Don't do it, because I like you and I want you to stay, okay? Look, everybody has a breaking point, and Julianne just hit it. You may be right about stop. No, uh, Brent, I know that I'm right. No, you don't. And even if you did, it's either his book or your job. Give in, Erica. Stop it. Fine. Good. I'm happy. Go meet Julie on that latte and ask her if she needs help with that bag lady dog memoir thingy, okay? <sighs> just gonna stand there? Yes, I am, because uh, we're not doing this today. You can complain because roses have thorns, or you can rejoice because thorns have roses. Zig Ziglar. Yeah, who's he? Oh, God, I don't know. I have no idea. The quote stuck, though. Wow. You look tired. I am tired. My entire life is a mess. My sister won't talk to me. Thank you for that. My boss wants to fire me because, God forbid, I actually have an opinion, and now here you are. But you know what, Dr. Tom? I'm not doing it. Our therapy has been a big step back. So the last thing I want to do to top off this craptacular day is a session, believe me. You done? With all this? Yes, I am. Well, where are you going? Back to work. Oh, so you're gonna give up then? Well, it, uh, it seems to be going around. Erica, stop. Sit down. I said, stop! Sit. Please. Okay. So you don't want to go back and stare down another regret. You know what? I understand that. So I'll tell you what, maybe I could send you somewhere else. What do you mean? Well, you tell me. I mean, if you could return to a day, I mean, any day, I mean a good day, what would that be? Nothing is really coming to mind right now. You ever tasted a Madeleine? Go, try one. Really? Marcel Proust believed in involuntary memory. A single bite of one of those little oval cakes there could send him back to the blissful days of childhood. The Proustian rush, I know. This cake is delicious. I know, isn't it? You know, revisiting a good experience can sometimes be as beneficial as returning to a bad one. Well, that's good to know. Mm-hmm. Do me a favor, close your eyes. Go ahead. Now, I want you to go to the very back of the filing cabinet, and I want you to find me a good day. A day when you made everything perfect. No, that looks promising. No, it's stupid. I can work with stupid. It's just a matter of speed. Okay, I remember this one day that I spent with my brother and sister. Nothing big, we just took a ferry to Toronto Island. Sounds fun. Well, it didn't start off that way. It started off with this horrible, no holds barred battle royale between my parents. Leo and Sam were traumatized, so was I. So I got the three of us the hell out of there.
We had all the steam to blow off and all that pent up energy. It made the day insanely fun. You know, nobody telling us what to do or how to behave. We just, we did whatever we wanted to do as often as we could stand it. And it was kind of like a glimpse of how we all might have been if it wasn't for the baggage of our parents weighing us down. We capped it off with this amazing sunset cruise back to the city. And I remember thinking, what a perfect day. It was everything that this day is not. And when you go back this time? I'm not gonna change a thing. And so we rewind. Oh, shit. I'm just calling it like I see it. A rabbi? Yes, a rabbi. You've never recognized my spiritual side. Because I've never if it seen doesn't have it, to do Gary. With your insignificant little world, nothing registers. It's the same stupid, self-centered, selfish bullshit. It is not enough to talk there. to you. No, Leo, Leo, you not don't want to do this, okay? Just trust me. Let's, let's just go. No, I, I mean it, okay? You will regret this. Let's, let's just get the hell out of here. Right. Please, Leo. I swear, sometimes I hate him. No, you don't. Well, how do you know what I think? Hey, Leo, just calm down. Well, you should have let me go at him and make my point. I don't need you babysitting me. Look, I'm not babysitting you. I'm just trying to protect you. Babysitting. My dad's giving up on mom. He's pushing her away. Leo, please stop. Hey, you guys, you know what? Let's just enjoy today. Mom and dad and all of their crap are back there, and here we are. Trust me, today is gonna be super fun. And you're super gay. You know, Leo, you really shouldn't say that. It's offensive. Offensive? Yeah. <laughs> well, now you're just retarded. And I don't understand why we're going here. Anywhere we could go in Toronto and we're going to the island. I mean, you know it's a garbage dump, right? It's not a garbage dump. Is it really a garbage dump or going swimming in a garbage dump? No, okay, there's a little bit of landfill. Oh, Leo, <laughs> Leo. Can you not do that? And get, you know what, get down to the edge. What, this edge? Come on. Jeez, you're so annoying today. Well, look, I will be less annoying if you just sit down here with your sisters. Sam, what are you doing? Are you on baby oil? Amelia says that's how all the Baywatch girls get their sick to California look. No, that's how you get melanoma, and the only thing worse than skin cancer is wrinkles, believe me. SPF 9, that's it. Oh, well. Leo? Okay. What the... There you go. Get You're in. violating me and freaking me out majorly. You're right. I'll just, uh, I'll just chillax. Chill what? Nothing. Don't have a cow, dude. Where is Leo? I mean, he was right here. Yo, Beavis and Butthead, wait up! Hey, Leo, watch, there's kids. Look, Mom, new eyes. Woo! Leo, watch out! Ah. Man! Woo! Sam, you okay? Oh, that doesn't feel good. Sorry. Mako? Only in my dream. Do you know how hard that is to do? Do you know that this is mini golf and not the PGA? Okay, whatever. Sammy, you're up. Dare you to take on the next female Tiger Woods? Tiger who? He's up and coming. Run. Ah, Erica, I can't. My wrist. But we need the three of us to play. What? Why? Just be, be, because it's just it's not going to be the same, okay? Well, I know. How about we skip this gayness and go to the nude beach, huh? Disposable cameras on me. Leo? No? Okay. All right. Survey says... 
One out of three siblings says that golf blows. That's great, Leo. That's super great. Very nice. Well done. You're beautiful. How about you practice what you preach over here and join us for the little game we professionals like to call putt-putt? Leo, what are you doing? You said you wanted a third. Not her. Oh, she's coming. Oh. I thought you're doing something. Don't mind if I do. What's your name? Tiger. Tiger Woods. Ooh, tiger, huh? Well, you can call me Cougar. Yeah, they're going about 15 years. Only in my dreams. Good luck charm. I had to wear you around the neck. <laughs> My real name's Tina. Starts with a T. Ends with an A. Okay then, um, if Sam can't play, why don't the three of us we go, we go hit some rides? That sounds like a great idea. No, 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 I can't join you if you do. I have to stay here. It's my job. Oh, that's too bad. Okay, what do you want? I am this close to scoring with Tina. You are this close to scoring an STD. Look, Leo, look, can't, can't we just enjoy today? What if, what if it was one of the last times you, Sam, and I could ever spend like this together? Please, Leo, I'm bored. Fine. Right, swivel. No, not whatever, super fun! Come on, come on. You know where to find me. If you change your mind. Mmm. I've got the metabolism of a teenager. I could eat two more of these babies, not gain an ounce. But her ah. hands and mouth off. Sweetheart, not so wise eating you know, all that junk before climbing on the banshee. Uh, Alex, not so wise calling you sweetheart. It's a merry-go-round. Big whoop! Crank her up extra long. <laughs> Ooh. more bang for our buck. Oh. Erica, do you feel okay? Round, round, round. <laughs> oh, it's not good. Got a funny feeling in your stomach? Like there's a big, greasy ball of good filter fish down there rolling around and around and around. Leo. You gonna hurl? Shut up. <laughs> oh. 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 oh my god. Those are my new Timberlands. This is disgusting. I'm so sorry, Sam. Oh, stop the ride. I don't get paid to clean up puke. I told you not to eat that crap. Okay, Sam, we're gonna go find a fountain, and I'm gonna clean his shoes off by hand if I have to. They're suede. And now they're blue. Not necessarily a bad thing. Leo, would you please shut up? This is not funny. No, Erica, this isn't fun. It hasn't been fun all day. Look, I'm just, I'm just trying to give us a day that the three of us can remember, okay? Oh, you've done that. I mean, this is up there with my bris for the worst day in my entire goddamn life. In between this and Dad and everything. I cannot wait for September so I can get the hell away from all of you. Leo. Erica, apologize. Go after him, do something. garbage quite yet. Besides, I need a much bigger bag. So, how come you're not with Sam and Leo? Because, ta-da! 
I did it again. Here I am. I'm trying to relive the perfect day, and I can't because every time something changes, even if it's if it's just a little bit, I freaked out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Quantum mechanics. You see, we can never know with any kind of certainty how an atom will behave naturally because the very instant that we look at an atom, we alter it. The very act of looking is never a passive thing. It has an effect. In fact, physicists tell us that reality at its deepest level is the response of the observer. You know, it's kind of like you, reliving past events. Today is not just any old memory. It's the last day that Leo and Sam and I, you know, we spend three musketeers style. Leo went off to university. Sam and Josh, they became attached at the hip. I mean, it was our last big hurrah before Leo, before Leo died. And now it's ruined. All I wanted to do was relive today exactly as it was. But just being here, it changed it. Quantum mechanics. And now this will be my past. This day will be just another mess. You know, Erica, if there's one thing that I know you have learned in our short time together, it's that life is about choices. Every day, every moment is a choice. And all you have to decide is what's your choice going to be here? Although the world is full of suffering, it is also full of the overcoming of it. Helen Keller. These shoes cost me like a hundred bucks and I worked at the Orange Julius for over a month to pay for them. Hey, look, Sam, I'll, uh, I'll buy you a new pair, okay? I don't want a new pair. I want this pair. And I'd rather walk around barefoot than wear those. It's like somebody needs to cool off. Don't even think about it. Lick me again and out. <laughs> Erica, I am warning no, you. No, that wasn't, that wasn't a flick. You said a flick, that was a splash. Oh, I will show you a splash. <laughs> Do you know who really loves funnel cakes? Leo. Let's go find him. Hey. <laughs> no, Tiger. If I get caught skipping out on many golf, my career is basically over. Well, my motto, Tina? Mm hmm Live each day like it's your last. I think I'm gonna get that tattooed on my back. <laughs> you don't think you could actually be at the nude beach, do you? Well, I know that we're not gonna go to find out. I mean, today's been bad enough without seeing that. Well, we can't go back to the city without him, so what do we do? You know what? If, if being with Tina makes Leo happy today, let's just let him be with Tina. But you keep talking about the ferry and sunset. Well, then it'll just be you and I Total sister time, if that's cool with you. Of course. Why would you even ask? Well, because of the shoes. You know, I thought that you might still be mad. Well, I'm not happy, but I don't hold grudges. You know that. Can I have one of these? I want a souvenir. Sam, we, uh, we live in Toronto. Yeah, but I want to remember it today. Thanks. There you go. Thank you. May you always think of our incredible afternoon together, Sam. Tina, you are the bomb. You're not so bad yourself, Tiger. <laughs> I, uh, I have a confession to make. My name's not Tiger, it's Leo. It's Leo the Lion. That's even better. <laughs> Whoa. I'm coming right around at 4 o'clock. Oops. Do oh, you know him? Um, yeah, that would be Alex. Boyfriend. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Baby, 
No, baby, no, 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 Yep, Leo is definitely at the nude beach. No problemo, it's not the last ferry, just the last ferry with the best view ever. Run for it! Alex! Oh, Alex, chill, it's not that big a deal! Hey, hey, hurry up! Leave my brother alone, you got it? <sighs> Don't mess with the babysitter. <sighs> that girl just... Amber told me you made out with Tiffany from Whack-A-Mole. Now you know how it feels. Hi, oh. honey. Are you okay? No. <laughs> Leah, are you okay? I'm cool. Let me tell you, sis. You rocked hard. Good day. Great day. Perfect day. Sun is gonna shine. Dad, you should have been there. We had such a fun day. I'm glad someone had a great day. Do you guys think Mom and Dad are going to get divorced? No. No, they're just... They're just going through a rough patch. We know that's not true. But it'll be okay, Sam. All right, well, our parents may be psycho, but I'm not going anywhere. Neither is Erica, right? You got it. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I am starving because I left everything I ate on the island. No! My God, do not sneak up on me like that ever again. Sorry, I was just about to make Julianne her latte. Yeah, uh, Julianne doesn't take drain cleaner in a latte. Um, hey, Brett, how long has it been since um, we last talked, sir? Why are you looking at me like that? I'm just trying to see if you're having a seizure. Do you smell burnt toast? Look, Brett, I need you to cover for me. No, you need to bring Julianne her latte. She's thirsty and cranky, and I need to speak to the art department about a cover for the cat lady book. Dog lady book. Whatever. Mm. My God, my comfy was strong. Look, I'm sure it is, but Brent, you need to cover for me, okay? Because there's something really important. You haven't heard to... anything I said earlier, did you? No, I did, and I should probably follow your advice, but I'm not really thinking with my head right now. Please, come on, come on. Things turn out the way I think they will, like all dibs in your ergonomic chair and your orchids and your colored paper clips. Okay. Mr. Stahl, I, I just uh, came over to see if you needed any help with the manuscript. Hello? <laughs> what do you mean you haven't written anything? There's got to be four chapters here. Mr. Stahl, I knew that you could do it. I knew that you could face... Mr. Stahl? Marcus? Oh, my God. Marcus? Marcus? Marcus, can you hear me?
It's okay. You're gonna be okay. to me. What are you doing here? Because I told Dad earlier. No, no, one of our authors, he overdosed. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Oh, come on, Sam. We're, we're sisters. Are we, are we really never going to talk again? Exactly, Erica. We're sisters. We're supposed to love each other and support each other and, and forgive each other. Do you still feel the same way about Josh? Yes. Then I can't forgive you. It's simple. You forced me to choose between my sister and my husband, and I made my choice. I didn't ask you to choose. So that's it? That's it. Hi. Hey, Sam. When the day comes that you do need me, and it will come, I'll be there for you. And say what you want, you're my sister. We've lost Leo, and I refuse to lose you. Rehab again. Is there anything that I can do? Well, don't you think you've done enough? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be fine. Look, I've done it before. I can do it again. Only this time I'll be busier. I have a book to write. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. So... She didn't make my latte, and she didn't go home. She went to Stahl's house, what, to, to hold his hand? Till he finished the first chapters. Why? We don't want his writing. We want the goddamn cat lady. Dog lady? Whatever. Oh, Frank, just the man I was hoping to see. Julianne, Stahl's pages. We agreed they would be on my desk by day's end. Yes? Uh, Stahl has stalled. What happened? An old habit reappeared, if you know what I mean. Frank. Frank, I... I have prepared an incredible plan B. And I'm, I'm stoked. I have some excellent ideas for the cover of our new feel-good Christmas title, okay? <clears throat> Imagine a grubby hand reaching into the fire to pull out fuzzy little kittens. I got them. Stall's pages. And they're good. They're, they're, they're very good. From what I hear, the man's in no condition to write. Um, which, which is why he's uh, going off to rehab, sir. Rehab? Oh, do you really think that's going to make us feel all peachy? It should, because he's, he's facing his problems. Fab, but I told you we're moving on. Please, please don't give up on this. Eric, drop it. Mr. Galvin, you know Stahl, and, and, and I mean, he is not a quitter. I mean, his whole life has proven that, and he, he just told me, he promised me that he will come out of rehab with a book. If you could please just take a look at this. You'll see, it's, it's really good. Well, we can't risk depending on Stahl's book and having it not come through. Christmas is our big season, my dear, and we can't be left holding the bag. That's why we're going to develop both books concurrently. Julianne. Frank. Put someone on the dog lady. If Stahl's book is ready in time, it becomes a Christmas launch. If not, dog lady takes its place. You're right. Stahl isn't a quitter. If he was, we wouldn't be doing a book about him. Frank? Make it happen, Julianne. Thank you, Mr. Gallon. Oh, whew. like a latte? Look at you. 
You could get a job at Starbucks. Yeah, well, I might have to if they hate Stahl's writing, but I just, I just, I couldn't let go. I couldn't give up. Well, you could. I almost did, but it wouldn't be right. Oh. Well, How much do they pay at Starbucks anyways? We cannot, we will not choose the path of surrender, Woodrow T. Wilson. I, uh, I checked the temp on the espresso and the milk. It's extra hot. I read Stahl's chapters, Erica. Wow, that was, uh, that was fast. Well, Frank demanded it. And it turns out you were right. They're not bad. Oh, well, that, I mean, that's, that, that's great. Okay, do not let what I'm about to say go to your head. I promise. I'm impressed. You fought for a property that you cared about despite all the naysayers, and you were right, too. Stall needs more time, he'll get it. Hmm. Mm. This makes me less impressed. <clears throat> right. Hi, Ryan, it's me. Um, listen, I'm sorry about it earlier. Uh, tomorrow night sounds great, and I hope that you're having fun with Josh. Give me a call. Oh! <sighs> Heirloom tomatoes. My secret weapon. Um, how do you get in here? I bribed your building manager with promises of leftovers. Oh, crap, my pine nuts are fresh. <laughs> so, what happened to your plans with Josh? I called him, told him I changed my mind, and then I tried to think of this creative way to make it up to you. Mm. Well, uh, the apron did the trick. They say the greatest mistake is giving up. That true strength lies in the will to keep trying. Keep hoping things will get better. Keep reminding yourself of all you've accomplished. Keep everything in perspective. Keep up the fight. Because at the end of the day, that's what you're left with. The knowledge that you did your best and that you'll wake up tomorrow and try again. No.